We are keeping our eye on this breaking news as the quest for answers continues this morning after a deadly Cape Coral shooting spree. Police were on the trail of the shooter as he made his way from location to location. Four in your corners, Malcolm Johnson is live this morning where it all ended near Skyline Boulevard and Cape Coral Parkway. Malcolm. Good morning, Chris and Miriam. This is the intersection where this fatal shootout ended. Witnesses telling us that they heard over 50 shots, and we now know that this is an officer-involved shooting. Officers having to shoot down a man that they say shot and killed three other people. So now investigators are going to begin looking into whether this shooting was planned. Was it random? Those are things that we may find out later on today when the Cape Coral Police Department updates the media on this shooting. But it is the residents who are now trying to make sense of this tragic shooting. Three shootings, three fatalities. Violent news on a Sunday evening that some Cape residents are becoming familiar with. There's no safe place. The shooting spree leaving three dead and three others wounded began at 545. That's when police say a gunman shot and killed a motorcyclist in the road in front of the Home Depot on Skyline Boulevard. The chaos continued around 630 when the suspects drove to the Circle K in the 1600 block of Cape Coral Parkway, where the suspects shot one person to death and injured another. I come here every day, yeah, and um, it's pretty disturbing that something like this happened. Officers then located the suspect just four minutes later. Our officers were able to get the vehicle stopped near the 5100 block of Skyline Boulevard. At that time, the suspect was still armed and violently resisting officers, and our officers engaged him, killing the suspect at the scene. We probably heard at least 50 shots. Two passengers in the car, a woman and child, according to witnesses, sustained injuries and were taken to the hospital for treatment. For what I hear, I guess the, the woman and the baby got shot too. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of sad. So again, Cape Coral Police Department reminding us this is a very active investigation. We plan on learning more about the victims and the shooter as well later on today. 